What books did you read while studying history? Good question. So part of Marx's philosophy is historical materialism, right? Basically meaning if we're going to look at and analyze things that exist today, in order to understand them, we have to look back and see how those things changed over time, their historical development. So because of that, basically every Marxist theory book is also a history book. Imperialism by Lenin is a great history of World War I. State and Revolution talks about the Paris Commune as well as the Russian Revolution. Lenin actually stops writing this book in the middle of it so he can go lead the revolution. Origins by Ingalls covers prehistory or history before class society. And I mention all of these because I have reading guides for them, link in my bio. But all classic Marxist texts are filled with good history. If you read Capital, you're going to learn so much about the development of capitalism in Europe and the historical development of Europe altogether, at least I did. But I still try to read a history book alongside any theory book I read. I'll list them in part two. So here's part two. This is going to be hard. As I said in the last video, history and theory don't necessarily need to be separated. Every good work of political and economic theory is going to have a lot of history in it. Looking at economic theory without using history is how you end up like Milton Friedman. But because of that, I do try to read a history book alongside any theory book I'm reading, which has been really difficult since I got into grad school. But over the summer, I crush history books. I eat them like candy. I'm nah, 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 nah. So here's some of my favorites. So this is one of my favorites. This is the book I read alongside Marx's Capital Volume 1. It's called The Half Has Never Been Told by Edward Baptist. So Marx's Capital, which is his most famous, biggest work, is basically an analysis of how capitalism developed in Europe and how production, the way that European societies produce the things they need to survive, changed over time and how that affected changes in the political structures and whatnot. The Half Has Never Been Told is basically a materialist analysis of slavery in the southern United States. The economics of it, the politics of it, how it changed and developed with time. What I found while reading these two books simultaneously was that the cotton market, which was generated by slaves in the American South, was instrumental to the development of capitalism in Europe and in the American North. And I actually was able to write an article about it, which was pretty widely published, not to brag. <laughs> I hate myself. But yeah, this is why you should read history and theory, sometimes at the same time. Another one that you must read is Washington Bullets by Vijay Prashad. This is a history of regime change efforts, assassinations, and coup attempts from the CIA and U.S. State Department, which largely draws from documents released directly from the CIA. And this is a history book for sure, but it's also basically a work of theory. It's basically an explanation of how imperialism works in the modern day. I consider it to almost be an extension of Lenin's imperialism, the highest stage of capitalism. Another great one, The Shock Doctrine by Naomi Klein. Naomi Klein is not a Marxist, she's a social democrat, and The Shock Doctrine is a book I have critiques of, but holy crap is this book chock full of information. It goes in depth about MK Ultra, the CIA's program where they were testing torture techniques, and that discussion leads into a history of Operation Condor, where the US and CIA funded and armed their preferred paramilitary groups and dictators in Latin America, training those dictators in the torture techniques that had been developed in MK Ultra, and then instructing these dictators to torture anybody with left-wing or socialist politics on the entire continent. It's pretty horrific to learn the details of this, but definitely interesting and good to know. We must understand the tactics of the imperialists, our enemies. So yeah, that's just scratching the surface of the history books that I like, but I would recommend you check all those out first, and I'll have to do some more videos like this, recommending books. This was fun. Thank you for your question.